frustrated with the people at work. I slept with that guy. <laughs> really? He cries when he finishes. What do you mean? Like a happy cry? No. More like a... <laughs> and that tiny dude over there in the red shirt? Did you sleep with him too? Well, I wasn't going to at first because of our height disparity, and then I decided to do it anyway as like a good deed. That's how you get into heaven, letting a little guy go up on you. I wish all he wanted to do was spank me. Well, no good deed goes unpunished. I had to sit on my hip for a week. So how many men at this meeting have you slept with? Oh, please, this is a sacred space dedicated to recovery and healing. Six. <laughs> Anyone else like to share? Oh, me. Haven't you shared enough? Hi, I'm Bonnie, and I'm an alcoholic. Hi. I just want to start by saying how grateful I am to this program. Not only am I happily sober, but so is my daughter. And let me tell you, she was a hot mess. Come on, stand up, honey. Let everybody see how pretty you are now. Imagine her without the bangs. P.S. She's single, fellas. Not for you, Spanky. Anyhow, it's just a real gift to have her back in my life. And uh, I know I wasn't the world's greatest mom when she was growing up, up with all my drinking and drugging and dealing and managing an international escort service with ties to the Russian mob. But, you know, it's hard to have a career and be a mom. Am I right, ladies? I remember this one time she was five years old. Maybe she was 11. Now, the point is, she was little. And I pulled her out of school, moved us up to Manitoba, where I opened up a daycare center that was a front for an ecstasy distribution hub. It worked out really well until one Mountie had to be a freaking hero. You are so lucky to have her for a mother. You don't have to tell me. She's a real... I mean it. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love Canada. Hey, remember Canadian beer? Wasn't that great? 